We are the Newbies, a family of explorers who've taken root in northern Portugal and are currently renovating a small abandoned farm into our dream off-grid homestead. I'm Tara, born and raised in Zimbabwe with a love for wild spaces that comes from a childhood growing up on a farm in Africa. This is John, who's had a life on the road, visiting 163 of the world's 193 countries and counting. And this is our son Crusoe, who loves nothing more than to help his dad on the farm. In his first year of life, he visited four continents and 24 countries and is about to become a big brother. We're documenting our entire journey and each Sunday we release a new episode with exciting new projects and stories. And we would love for you to join us. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and turn on those notifications so that you never miss an episode. <laughs> Thank you for helping our channel grow and for supporting our family's journey. And remember, be brave, think big, explore. <laughs> friends. Well done, darling, you caught up. I had to do a couple of fast trots, darling. That's hard these days. I know, Crito is hungry. We're off to have a picnic in the park and tell you all about what is coming next for the newbies. We can't wait. We can't wait. So much. In this episode, we've got a big announcement. We do. We've got... Um, the story of what it was like to get a car and three people all the way back from Portugal. Information about what's going to be happening over the next few weeks divulging the truth behind our immigration status in Portugal. Absolutely. And then, of course, more information about... That. And why you should keep watching our channel for the next three weeks. Absolutely. On with the show. On with the show. Mm, that looks like a kissing gate to me. Hang on, darling. Wait a minute. the rules. <laughs> okay, so Community Orchard is where we're going to. In the small town that we live in when we're in the UK, there is a, on the edge of the town, there is a small orchard where everybody can go and pick anything they like. And we thought it was a really great place to sit down and have a chit chat with you guys. Well, because it reminds us of being at home on the farm in Portugal. Oh, that's a tricky thing, isn't it? Oh, that is on there. There we go. And this is why it reminds us of home. Not so ready I don't yet. think they're ready yet, my boy. It's going to be torturous. Should we get the picnic out? Hey, you're not going to taste very nice just right now, buddy. So it's not quite time for the fruit and the orchard to be ready, but luckily we brought an emergency pear to keep Crusoe happy because he gets really frantic if he can see fruit on trees <laughs> and he's not allowed to eat it. I play in Portugal. Honestly, and he also thinks that every single tree we come across that's got a berry or a fruit or something on it is edible. So we're having to keep a really close eye on him out here. Um, I don't think anything's mega poisonous, but you know, we've got to keep a close eye on him because he does um, he does think that it's all looks delicious. Put it up right, bud. Oh, yes. Bye, Daddy. Grusso, what have you got on at the moment? Can you show me your t-shirt? What's that? Yeah, we're going to be talking to you a little bit about what Crusoe's wearing in just a second. I'm going to take you for a quick look around this orchard because I'm, I, well, I, I just love it. I think it's amazing. If we can get apple trees looking like this on our farm, looking like this, they are, I mean, you know, they've got so many apples on them. They look like they're about to fall over, to be honest. This must be half an acre worth of land right here maybe a little bit more maybe a bit less but they've got a whole variety of different apples every tree is different they've got 
I mean, they must have 20, 30 apple trees here. Um, some of them very small and, and just, just planted and other ones huge. And then in between them, they've got lots of berries and plum trees, Crusoe's favorite, of course. Pear trees, look at that, gosh. All I'm thinking with the cost of food as it is at the moment, how much money we're gonna save with Crusoe's fruit bill if we just plant a few more trees. Anyway, we'll get onto that a little bit more a little bit later in this episode. But first, I think we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about what happens next for the newbies. What are you doing? <laughs> little bad. All right, before we get into any big announcements, um, let's talk to you a little bit about the journey home. It was a journey that we weren't really planning to do. Um, we thought that we would fly back from Portugal. Actually, what we ended up doing was getting the ferry back from Santander in Spain to Plymouth in the UK. It meant that it was an overnight ferry. We had access to a cabin. We brought our car back and we got to meet some really lovely people on the ferry too who um, followed our channel. So <laughs> thanks so much to you guys for saying hello. Thank you. And Crusoe is just about to become cameraman. Oh, here we go. It's on its way. <laughs> <laughs> well done you, Crusoe. Hey, are you becoming the cameraman? Just want to say a huge thank you to our patrons. Yeah, you guys have been an amazing support over the last couple of months and you've been integral in some of the decisions that we've made. Including how Crusoe's t-shirt currently looks. Exactly, so thank you so much to you all. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a members only space where we release exclusive and exciting content Things like unseen footage, different yeah. videos, blogs, stories from our lives. No amount of support is too small and we have got no tears on Patreon. So no matter how much you um, pledge to support us, you'll have access to all of the same content. Absolutely. And it's just such a cool growing community of people over there. And we're so excited to see where it's going to take us. We really So are. if you're intrigued, the link is in our description below. Come yeah. check it out. I wanted to get in something there a little while ago. I just wanted to say the latest video that we've put on Patreon is one of my very, very favourites. Yeah, we have dived back 18 months and chronicled Crusoe's life yeah, because exactly. he's about to become a big brother. And so before we did that, we thought it was a perfect time to put the story of Crusoe's first 18 months on the planet into a video. Yeah, it's 18 minutes of Crusoe and not very much else. He's now destroying the orchard. Hmm. Crusoe, stop doing that, little man. Okay, I'm back. So, this is how our journey home went. I dreamt of you last night You were by my side I woke up alone I should have known Because I'm always on my own I just want you here What those water problems? Check-in closes for the ferry at three. It's a six-hour drive, and we're currently scheduled to arrive at ten past three. Now, you may be asking how this happened. Spain is an hour ahead. Yeah, and we were also, I don't know, like faffing around in that in the house. I think reluctant to leave. Yeah, kind of, you know, like that. Right now? Yeah. It's pretty stressful. Right now, we just gotta go. Darling, 
you're my hero every day, but today even more so. Oh, that's kind. Why is that? Because somehow, despite everything and with, you know, oh, against wow. the odds, I think we were about to make it onto the ferry. I think we are, yeah. That's pretty good news. Like, it's been a fairly tense old drive, hasn't it? It has been, and we have not stopped for five and a half hours. Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> Darling. I feel pretty good about that, I can <laughs> tell you. We had plans, we were making plans. We were like, okay, what happens if we don't make it? All right, well, I've got to go. So I have to go and fly from Santander Airport and you can uh, get a hotel and just drive the car across. But anyway, it's all worked out just fine. Bloody hell. Mm. Now. We've had one pit stop in five and a half hours, which lasted approximately three minutes. You know what's interesting about all of this is is I haven't had time to think about us leaving the, the farm. Yeah, we had about two minutes of feeling really, really, and really then it was sad. Like, and then oh, it was like, gosh. oh God, what have we done? Yeah. So now we're, now we're not, uh, well, maybe get on the ferry and have a think about it. I think there's a swimming pool on this ferry. A packed up cozies. And a bar. Nice. Beer. This poor little boy sat there for hours haven't you Crusoe? Are you a good boy buddy? Yeah. Are you the best boy? Hello Crusoe, do you want to come and drive? Would you like to get out of that seat? Come on then. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, wait, wait. I sincerely hope they're letting us on this boat soon. Yeah, We've sat in this car for six and a half hours now. Yeah. Nice day. Boys do. Where's the bamboo? No bamboo out here, buddy. <laughs> where's the where's the apples? No apples. Yeah. There is. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And so we've arrived back in the UK. And as much as we're really missing the farm. There is obviously a huge element of relief because we're back here because it means that the baby is imminently going to arrive, which is such a relief for me because I am now feeling very, very pregnant. I was just going to say Tara can be quite grumpy, especially first thing in the mornings. <laughs> I think anybody who's been pregnant would understand why. So I had an idea this morning when I woke up and I was getting a little bit of a grumpy face. I told Tara a little bit of a joke. It wasn't a very good one and it wasn't particularly funny, but it did make her smile. So I, that got me to thinking, why don't we, as a community, as a group of friends here on The Newbies, why don't we tell each other a few jokes today um, and make Tara smile? I would love to see that. You'd make my life easier and you certainly It's not make. that bad. It's not that bad. No, it's not. No, definitely. Um, but um, yeah, please do. Leave us a comment with your best joke. Your best joke. Keep them clean or cleanish anyway. Yep. Um, and we were thinking it would be fun for everybody else just to scroll through those comments, read some jokes, have a bit of a smile this Sunday morning and yep. really enjoy today. Have a bit of a laugh. Yeah. We all need a laugh. Absolutely. But anyway, let's carry on. So we are very excited to say that we are on the brink of launching our new merchandise. <laughs> Thank you. 
How's that then, hey? <laughs> Check this out. This is our new merchandise, our new t-shirt. I am so excited about this design. We had um, an artist design it for us and she basically put in this one picture everything that means something cool to us. Yeah, just about everything anyway. Um, but we are super stoked to say that our merchandise shop, which so many of you have been asking us for for such a long time, will be live by the end of September. We're expecting middle of September and we will let you know as soon as it does. So if you're not already following us on Instagram, Please head on over, follow us, we're at the newbies and we will let you know as soon as the merch shop goes live. We'll also announce it on Facebook too. Um, so The best thing about this is we've managed to find, thanks to our friends Tanya and Adam, the most amazing producer of our merchandise, which only prints to order. It's all on organic cotton, it's delivered with no plastic, it's using environmentally friendly dyes and inks. It's beautifully printed, it's got amazing longevity um, and I'm it delighted. even comes, sorry, it even comes with a QR code on the label that you can scan so that you can send it back to be responsibly recycled once you've finished using it. And a very special shout out to Sylvia, who is one of our patrons, who reminded us just before we pressed the finalize button that we really needed to have bamboo in the design. So there we go, there Sylvia. It is. I think right there's even there. some more down here. Some down here. <laughs> and we have a whole range, a whole a whole bunch of different kinds of t-shirts. Yeah. One for be brave, one for think big, one for explore. Of course, on the be brave, we've got a bamboo stick. Yeah. Our favourite. And there's a kiddies range, there's obviously men's and women's, and there's even a puzzle. So we're super excited. A puzzle? A puzzle. No. <laughs> It'll be launching alongside our brand new website yeah there is a lot going on um, and there's nothing like the imminent arrival of a newborn baby to get jobs done and get deadlines moving so yeah, it's true we're super super stoked for all of it and as i say just make sure you're following us on instagram facebook and we will make sure we update you as soon as it all goes live <laughs> <laughs> okay so what's happening to the farm well we're not there Joao is on our farm right now. He's, uh, he's one of the neighbors, one of our neighbors. We are so grateful to have him because he's probably one of the most hardworking people we've ever come across. Yeah, um, and he is just- Really knows his stuff. He does. He knows everything about that part of Portugal because he's, that's where he's grown up and his family are a farming family. So he's basically just helping us keep the farm under control Thank so you. that we don't come back and find that we have to start again. Um, from where we left off. He's also making sure the lawn stays watered. It's taken really, really well now and it's not requiring as much water. And it looks like it's thriving, which is amazing, considering um, that it has been quite hot in Portugal this summer. So um, we're really pleased about that. We've also had some reports from him that the fox is becoming a regular feature and we've had a squirrel take up residence in one of our oak trees. And that just makes us so very, very happy. Duck and the chicken as well, everybody, because I know you'll all be wondering what happened to duck and chicken. Again, if you watched the packing up episode, you'll know this, but if you missed it, they are spending time that we're away they're on with, holiday um yeah they're on holiday with lida who's the lady who gave them to us in the first place she's they're been sending us some pics they look very happy everybody's very well yeah um and i think we'll we'll, we'll pick up off well we'll see we should pick up where we left off but they might just be that happy back. where they are <laughs> yeah they're <laughs> on holiday in portugal and let's everybody put your hands up if you'd like to be on holiday in portugal yes. we're all quite envious of the we duck are, and, the, and, the, and the chicken, and the chicken. Mm. All right, so we're not in Portugal. So what can you expect in terms of content over the next three or four weeks? As we were driving away from Portugal, we were genuinely really, really sad. Didn't want to leave, did we? No. It was a hard move, um, but we decided that we would make the best of it um, and leaving Portugal and we would make sure that we got a whole bunch of ducks in a row and made this next few weeks all about learning so that when we go back to the farm we are so ready to be there for for as long as we need to be or want to be without having to go away exactly so the most important thing that we're going to get our ducks in a row with is visas now with brexit i need a visa um, and unless i get a visa i can spend only a maximum of 90 days in every 180 in portugal yeah so for this last stint that actually timed absolutely perfectly like uncannily perfectly with yeah. exactly the same amount of time that we needed to come back for before the baby so it's all you know felt very serendipitous but while we're here john is going to be going through an application for a d7 visa now mm. if that is of interest to you then we will release an episode 
on how that process has gone. We'll keep you updated. And if you've got any specific questions about it, drop them in the comments box below. What next? Well, we have just had a really exciting visit to a very special project here in the Cotswolds, which is where we're based in the UK when we're here. Um, which we went to visit to learn as much as we possibly could about regenerative agriculture for us to take back to the farm in Portugal. I know this is something that so many of you are interested in because so many of you have left us tips, comments, insights, recommendations of, of resources and places to go, people to get in touch with. So thank you for that. You've truly inspired a, the start of a, a huge journey. Yeah. Um, so next week, we're gonna be telling you all about a place called Farm Ed. Yeah, absolutely. We met the owner, um, Ian and he showed us around. It was a place that Prince Charles himself opened, I yeah. believe. Yeah. And it was truly, we walked away absolutely buzzing. The latter half of September is all a little bit TBC, but we are in communications with some really exciting collaborations. Again, quite a few of them suggested by you guys. So fingers crossed they come off. There's a lot hanging on when the baby comes, how things are going, um, availability of both of, you know, both ends of the story. So. Fingers crossed something happens. If it doesn't, we've got some really, really beautiful travel films to share with you. Wow. Apart from feeling cold, I'm also gonna feel pretty stupid. There he is. General himself. I'm so sorry you guys didn't see that smile. It was basically the size of Crusoe's <laughs> face. He really likes throwing things Daddy. at his dad. Yes. <sighs> High five. Yeah, well done, buddy. And for mum. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, so there's going to be plenty coming your way this September. Yep. That's for sure. Not least because it's my birthday and we're probably going to be having a baby too. Baby, Stick around, baby, folks. Baby. Baby, 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 baby hey. Um, but before we leave you, please don't forget to leave me a joke. I really need it. Yeah. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and of course, leave us a comment. Even if it's not a joke, we'd love to hear from you. And also, we haven't just been sat in this orchard for the last few weeks. We just did a really lovely trip up to Scotland to see John's family. That's right. So, have a look at this. It was pretty special. Thanks for being here, folks, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. to be here at this time of year and think back to the last time we were here because it was a lot drier. I think we were here just after it was May time so spring hadn't quite sprung it was still really cold um, and everything was kind of more oranges and browns and things and now it's all beautiful and green. There's the most amazing little wildflowers in the meadows up here and isn't it just magnificent? Here's the boys gearing up for their swim. It definitely feels warmer than 13 degrees centigrade. What do you think? Yep, still not warm enough for a swim though, in my opinion. Isn't it beautiful? It's amazing. There's a song that's meant to accompany this bit, darling. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, again, as always, totally forgot swimwear. Um, so in my boxes, I'm afraid, everybody. That's okay. There's no, there's no advertising on them. Come on. <laughs> All right. Let me just see how cold it is. If it's chilly, chilly.
How is it, though? Yeah, me Definitely not as cold as last time, but it's still pretty chilly. I think we'll just dip Crusoe's toes in okay. so he can get a feel for it. I think he'll be cross if he doesn't get in. Yeah. See? Did you do a try? Yeah. Are you ready? Cold? Steady? Mummy's here, baby. Is it cold? I still say it now, I don't know how we spent all day in that rock pool <laughs> as kids because it's blooming freezing. It's the end of the summer, it should be nice and warm, but it's not. <sighs> so, next stop, for Augustus. Yeah, well, I think. Now that family traditions have been completed and circles have been closed. I love it, yeah. Isn't it magical. So, you know, the more like the more we do and the more we go from like van life to travel to Portugal to like now coming to welcome a new baby. You know that saying, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Or it's about the journey, not the destination. It just becomes more and more true because everything just seems to form these like circular journeys that we're on. And I just love looking back and thinking, gosh, you know, who'd have known? <laughs> Here we are. We were here with last when Crusoe was seven weeks old. He's now 17 months old and we're a few weeks away from welcoming our second. Brilliant. So cool, isn't it? Crusoe, where are you I going? I wonder, love, what life will look like when we're next here. Well, yeah, it's a good question. I might actually have to carry a baby up a hill. <laughs> you might. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know, there is more snack. The whole reason we've come back to the UK to have the baby is to be closer to family and friends as we make the transition to a family of four. And the rest of our time in Scotland was spent with John's mum and sister on the Isle of North Uist in the Outer Hebrides. We had some beautiful sunny days on the beach with the dogs and lots of time to catch up while we sheltered from the rain and wind too. Now it's just time to wait for the little one to join us and crack on with learning as much as we can to take back to the farm in Portugal next month. Tune in next week to carry on that journey with us as we visit FarmEd, a regenerative agriculture centre just outside where we're based in the UK. It means the world to have you here with us. Please remember to hit that thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave us a comment because we love hearing from you. Thanks folks, we'll see you next week.